Any other thoughts? On? Can I actually toss this over to Dr. Cook? Um, I feel like from other industries, like we're talking about how we're convincing the software industry to, to buy into this. And sometimes the purse strings for tech companies are a little looser than say like uh, government uh, organizations or military or medicine, something like that. I'm curious if from other fields, uh, how they approach this and how they justify it up the line. It would be very hard for me to talk about the whole tech industry. Um, it's a very heterogeneous uh, environment that's got lots and lots of exemplars and across a, a huge range. Um, <clears throat> there is no, as far as I can tell, central tendency in the industry. Uh, there's lots of variability. It's partly because it's fairly young and hasn't had the opportunity to develop uh, uh, lots of these traditions. Much of the learning that happens um, in other domains is driven by um, professional affiliations of the people who participate in those things. So nurses, um, physicians, pilots, engineers uh, in, in other uh, domains um, have responsibilities and, and expectations about learning that are part of their connection to their profession rather than their connection to a company. And I, I think there is a, um, uh, there, there is a tendency in, in the tech industry to, in, uh, to make the company uh, organization, the, the, the company itself, um, much, much more influential in the overall scheme of things than um, uh, is the case in, in other domains. Um, and, and I think it's putting a huge burden on, um, on corporations to be the carriers of the responsibility for learning and for advancement. I think that they're ill-suited for that and they're obviously ill-organized for that. Um, they're not motivated by those things. The professions have in general sustained learning and, and advancement in those career paths, but they've done that more or less, uh, not, not completely independently of the companies that they work for, but certainly not completely tied to those companies. Um, <clears throat> you know, I'm, I'm a physician first and I work at Ohio State second. Um, and, and my physician, my, my learning is not contingent at some level upon just uh, what the company or the corporate entity of Ohio State does. So I, I think we should be a little cautious about who we are charging with the responsibility for advancement and learning, especially related to the development of opportunities in careers and long-term pathways. The kind of responsibility that people have for mentoring I don't think flows from a corporate source, or it should not entirely. Um, there's a couple, we, we, we make some, con we get confused about learning in a variety of different ways. Uh, one is the, one of the ways that I think we mistake this is we think that the learn, that there is some sort of learning contained in events. That there's a, that there's this encoded message which if I only simply had the right way of, you know, if I could rework the hash on however it got in there, I would be able to say what that message was. And once I had that in hand, I could just broadcast that and everybody would somehow appreciate the, the, the relevance of it. And that's clearly incorrect. Um, people learn different things from events. They learn in different ways asynchronously. They, they often learn things that are completely unrelated. Uh, and there are very few ev events that have um, uh, sort of a learning in them. I think the, the, one of the things that we see that's a pathology is organizations trying to state what the learning is from an event. That's a pathology that, that's present. When an organization feels that it needs to control the meaning of an incident, you can be sure that public relations people and, and senior managers are busy shaping that meaning and, and, and it's just it's, it's a very bad idea. Um, so, so the question for me becomes one becomes a, a slightly different one from just how do we make the learning, uh, make them invest in learning, but how do we how do we generate environments 
that are conducive to learning and generally support that and sustain that across a variety of different opportunities um, and give people that, that uh, a kind of a rich environment in which that can happen. And, and to some extent that requires giving up some control of this, which I think is the, the sort of central idea of, we're gonna ask what the central idea of the facilitation guide is. Uh, the Etsy Facilitation Guide, or the central idea of, of what I would call the all-spa all idea, okay? That's <laughs> because it's not the Etsy Guide, it's, it's the all-spa idea. And the, the fundamental idea, that the, the fundamental all-spa idea is this, we don't control what's learned. We're not in charge of what is learned. We facilitate people to allow them to have learning experiences, but we don't control the learning. It's not our job to extract the messages. It's not our job to figure out what the, the meaning of this is and transmit that to everyone. Our job is to fil facilitate that kind of learning environment. And I think when you switch to that perspective, many things become available to you that, were, um, that, that wouldn't be available if you, as the, as the single sole source of learning, had to extract the lessons and disseminate them and all the rest of that stuff which is an, an, a ridiculous idea on the surface of it. So uh, I think there's a reason for optimism here, and, and I, I get that optimism from the presentations that people have, which is that they are able to gain valid, important, and, and, business, and, and, and business meaningful insights from the events that they are experiencing. And one of the things that they're able to do, and I think Ryan showed this very nicely, is they're able to demonstrate by pursuing these kinds of inquiries more deeply, how the interconnectedness of the system creates the environment that breeds these kinds of problems and why it's important for us to have that insight, why it's important for us to learn about that. And so I'm pretty optimistic about, about what's happening and, and to some extent I would I would almost like to suggest the opposite uh, to what's been proposed, which is I don't, now, please. <laughs> okay, so turn the camera off. <laughs> okay, look, here's my view of management. Um, so, so, we often say we'd like managers to be more involved and get them engaged and have them be more supportive and all the rest of that stuff. I have tried to do that and we would get these people coming into the operating room every once in a while and after they'd been there for about five minutes, my, my the thing I would say to them is, don't you have a meeting you have to go to? Because um, they're not very helpful and they don't, they, don't, they don't understand this stuff and they don't do very much and they, they inevitably screw it up. So. What, what, what an alternative view is, you know, you are, the, you are the underground, you are the resistance, you are the people who are going to make this happen, not because management gives you the resources that you are clamoring for, but in spite of the fact that management exists. <laughs> and, and so I, I think that would be, and, and, and if that's the case, then reformulating the problem is one of reformulating a kind of guerrilla movement, right? We're making cells, we're, you know, engaging in training people, you know, we're making punji sticks and we're doing all sorts of stuff like that because our goal is, is really to, to enrich this world in ways that are, are productive. And, and to some extent, partly, and I think several people have touched on this idea that very often the messages or news that comes out of this is not management friendly, right? And, and if you try and build a program in your company that's going to produce a string of bad, you know, pretty much continuous stream of bad news, you're going to find that you're not a very popular person. <laughs> um, so don't do it. Do the opposite. Go underground. You know, be, 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 do, use subterfuge, hide, spy, you know, sneak in, break in. <laughs> do it, do it, but do it under, uh, do it under the radar. We have a 